guys and welcome back to another tutorial for Ramp Creator. So today what we're going to be learning how to do is how to set up a rotable or rotatable chair. Uh, we're going to be using entities for this just because there is sitting properties and uh, currently at the version right now with uh, M Creator you can't really use uh, blocks to make uh, chairs like set animations and stuff. So we're going to be using a chair. Um, for each direction, you're also going to need to model a uh, the same chair, but uh, have it at a different rotation. So I'll go into that in just a quick, brief moment. So I just have it under one main group, and you don't really need to rename the cubes. I recently figured that out, so that's fine. And our texture is called uh, Chair East, so this is the East version. Uh, north is facing this way. If you rotate that way, it's facing east, uh, south, west. So uh, it's kind of like a compass. Your west is going to be over here, east, south, and then north up there. So this is the east version. Uh, one thing that you're also going to want to do is when you're cloning your chair or whatever um, model that you have and adjusting it. So if I wanted to get the West version, I would be able to um, basically just clone this, or not clone it, but move it. And then this would be the West version, and I could keep the same UV map over here. You are gonna need two UV maps though, uh, one for each direction. Uh, this will vary depending on uh, the rotation and everything like that. But um, North and South are usually have its own UV map and North or East and West have its own. So it's a different format. You'll see that in just a couple minutes. But uh, the last thing that you want to do is make sure that you go to your property and make sure that you have a unique um, file name that is the same as your mod model identifier and your texture name. Um, I recently also found out that you need those all these three things the same for it to work. So uh, make sure that you have all those uh, the same. I would suggest using a direction based on what direction the chair is facing and then you kind of understand when you're importing and setting it up in M Creator what chair it is. So you could just give it a regular name and then go like east or west or whatever. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, let me just open up the other ones here. So I'll just open up north. And this one's facing north. If we click on the block here, as you can see, uh, the UV map is a little bit different. I've just used the auto uh, texture. There is a template mode right here. You can click confirm and then it'll generate a new texture for you uh, automatically, which is perfect for doing this kind of stuff. Uh, it saves a lot of time, and then you can just texture it with the, the paint uh, thing here, and then you can basically uh, bring it into uh, paint.net or whatever after you've painted it, so you know what parts are which, and you can basically um, texture it how you want. So uh, this is the north version. Uh, the only real difference between north and south is the rotation on the, the seat part. So the only difference between north and south or east and west is the, um, the texture for the seat. Um, I've disabled a few textures um, for the seat part. Uh, if you, you can kind of see down in the hole there that there is just a kind of cut out texture. You can kind of see it on the UV map too here. Uh, those will have to be rotated depending on the seat itself. This just basically fixes the uh, textures from, you know, doing all those glitchy kind of things. When you say, if we were to do that, you might be able to notice that it kind of flickers like that. So that's usually due to uh, textures overlapping as it would that basically aren't the same thing. Uh, this goes for that. You can basically just crop out sections and um, like I did with the thing here, it will basically allow you to um, fix that texture and glitch. So that's basically what I did with that. So the bottom of this is actually solid. So when it goes and 
aligns here, it's perfectly fine. Or I think it's actually hollow. Uh, judging to the UV map here, it's hollow. So that's north, and I've basically just done the same thing for south, only it's facing the other direction. And the west version is also facing the opposite from the east. So once you have all that, uh, go to your file, make sure to save your project, and then export it as Java Entity. And uh, you need to do that for all four uh, block states. So when you have all your textures and models uh, made, what you can do is um, basically go to your textures textures tab and import your uh, your UV maps for your models itself. You can go and by clicking on import texture and then go to import mob, GUI, logo, etc. textures and you can also click control plus seven to basically uh, open that screen. What you would do is select the UV map and then you would be able to import it. Uh, one other texture that I basically did was a item texture and that was just for um, basically having it as a custom spawn item basically so we'll get into that part a little bit later but uh, for the most part those are the only textures you're going to need only four of them and uh, when you get that all set up I would suggest uh, setting up a direction like east or north or whatever first and then what you can do uh, how I basically set this up is it will start on north, so we'll probably start with that one first. So then you want to select your model, your model texture, these have to be the same, and um, you can give it a unique name, that's fine. I haven't run into any issues where um, naming it something completely different would from your model would impact it, so that's fine. I've disabled the... Um, the actual uh, spawn eggs by putting in a uh, creative tab entity or no creative tab uh, entity so right here and I've set the height to 0 0.5 because I think that's how high the seat itself is so other than that I've basically set the sound to uh, when hurt set it to wood hit and it's uh, destroyed by breaking wood so that's the sound and then you want it set to cr uh, creature for the behavior characteristics and the health actually needs to be set to one for this to work um, you could have it higher but it'll be harder to actually rotate the the mob and as you'll see in a few moments but uh, other than that just make sure it's writable everything else is should be set to zero 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 and the tracking range I've left at 64, so everything else should be fine. And no particles. Uh, we have, I believe, two procedures that are run on these. Uh, these are pretty simple stuff. Uh, when the entity dies, what we're going to be doing is spawning the east direction one, and I'll get into the coordinates here in just a second. Um, if you're running one point. 14, this is the um, direction that you need to actually offset it on, on the X direction. Uh, it will be 0.5 Z plus and then minus 0.5 for 1.14. If it's 1.12, you need to change this to 1. Point, uh, or 0 0.5 plus X. So, right? so that makes difference. I noticed that um, I had to set this up a little bit differently on 1.14. It does work on 1.12, but there's a issue with the placement, and that's going to be the reason why. Um, the other procedure that we have is basically an update tick, and this is uh, a global kind of tick for all the chairs. And. What this basically does is it keeps it in the exact same place. Um, so when you punch the chair, it doesn't go anywhere. It basically disables knockback damage. Uh, we're adding a potion effect of level 5. Uh, I know it says 4, but 0 is technically 1. Um, duration is set to 1 because it's happening on an update tick. So we want to keep that to 1. 
and uh, we're giving the, the entity slowness. Uh, we're also setting the move vector uh, and set entity movement vector to 0, 0, 0, so it's always constantly being put into the center block uh, or the location that it currently is at, and we're putting it in the cobble of 4, 1 tick. So that's basically just keeping it uh, in the exact same spot. There's hardly any chance of it moving. Uh, maybe with a really high explosion it could, but um, the chances of that even happening are really low. Uh, most likely it would just die anyways. So outside of that, let's move on. So the procedures are done for north and uh, for your AI tasks, you want it to be blank so it doesn't do anything. And uh, for spawning properties, disable it. Just uncheck these two boxes here and you'll be fine. And for east, um, I would just clone north and then make call it east and then you want to set up the east per the east settings you can at this point have all your settings already set up if you cloned it and uh, your settings should be all the same here all the same uh, the only difference is we're basically spawning south rather than um, spawning east so this is the only difference here and again uh, same issue with the the chair being offsetted you want this to be negative on x for uh, 1.14 on 1.12 so make sure you update this one as well and then you're also inheriting the same uh, procedure for the update tick so i just used one procedure for that just to simplify it uh, no AI tasks and uh, disabled uh, entity spawning so that's all good right there uh, so the south is basically the same thing again all the settings are the same the only difference is it has its own thing this one's going to target west and you get the idea for that and west is a little bit different so you want west you want to set all the properties up the same creature writable um, except for when it dies, we, what we want to do is to drop the item that we have. We haven't created that item yet, but uh, we have it, uh, we need to add it to the death so we can pick up the chair again. And that's the only difference in that particular one there. So for the item, um, let's see if I can find it. Item, chair item. So it's just a basic item. Uh, it can stack up to 64 and all the other settings are pretty much set to the same. Uh, for the, uh, when right clicked on block, what we wanna do is click on that. I'm testing for uh, cave air down here and uh, regular air up here. Uh, what this is doing is testing for uh, two air blocks just above the block itself. Um, that we're basically right clicking on so we can determine if there's a spot for the chair itself so the entity doesn't basically suffocate. So that's basically what that's doing. If it's true, then it's placing, uh, plays a uh, block placing sound of wood. And finally, it's placing the north direction chair at um, x positive five uh, or x positive 0 0.5 y plus one because we don't want it in the block that we're clicking on and plus uh, 0 0.5 so it's a little bit different coordinates than the ones that we were offsetting it on in the, um, the entity update tick or was it update tick or it was something like that it was on death so it's a little bit different for the coordinates on the X but that's okay so other than the, that, this works. So we'll just test it out on game and just make sure to save your item and you're all good to go. All right, so we're now in game and uh, we have four chairs that we can place down here. And uh, what we're gonna do is start with uh, this direction right here. So as you can see, the chair uh, always faces north if we go and click on the F3 screen. Uh, we're, if we're facing this way, the chair is facing towards us. So we're facing north, the chair is facing towards us. So that's perfect. That's how we had it set up in the modeling program. And uh, what we wanna do is place down this one. I just noticed that we're actually not removing the item from the player's inventory. So you would also want to 
um, set up remove uh, one particular chair item when it's basically right clicked on the block. So that's something you're going to want to do as well. So for this, uh, it's not facing the right direction. This can basically be done and fixed by right clicking on it or left clicking and just dealing damage and it will spawn the other direction. So we can do that a few times and now it's facing the right direction. I like how it has the dust particles as well. Well, you know, the particles that you would necessarily see when you kill an NT. It looks like you just like destroyed the furniture or something like that. So that's a pretty cool effect. That wasn't deliberate, but it's what I could do. And for this, um, you just want to kind of offset it like that. And same for this one. So it's facing like that. So uh, now that it's all set up, uh, we can actually sit on it. And as you can see, you can kind of rotate around. Um, there is some weird bug. I forget what seat it was in. I think it might be this one. Yeah, so if we're facing that way, our character's kind of sitting off to the side. I'm not sure why that's doing that, but um, it doesn't really go to the other direction. It just kind of swings around. What causes it to do that? Some of the chairs are fine, some of them aren't, so um like we're still facing kind of that direction behind the seat so i'm not sure why that's the thing but um yeah uh it could just be the way um it's basically modeled i think that's actually the reason yeah so if it's modeled a certain direction rather than rotated in am crater you're gonna be sitting a little bit awkwardly but uh i had some issues with the um, rotation and getting it to rotate with the uh, part where it basically stops it from moving. So it basically wouldn't rotate if those were on and if you're punching the chair itself it would um, basically shoot it across uh, the room or whatever and uh, that wasn't working so you kind of have to just suck it up with the <laughs> The odd placement of the block it's not much i can do about that at the current moment but um it's it's still a chair so other than that um let me just quickly overview that uh, procedure so if you go on chair right click item uh, the only thing that you would want to do is player and then you want to scroll down until you see remove and you want to remove and remove one of the chair items itself and then basically when the chair is placed you'll be removing the item that the player is holding and just save it and then you're good to go so hopefully you guys found today's video um, interesting uh, something different to try um, if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out